So yes, I have found a hidden feature on my Bamboo Lab printers. So if you've got one yourself, you'll be very familiar with this sound. And if like me, you're printing a lot of stuff, then that can get quite repetitive. But what if you could change that sound and make it anything you want? Like this, for example. So of course that is really funny, everyone's just been rickrolled by a 3D printer. But seriously, what about if you're a big movie fan and you wanted something like this from Jurassic Park? Or you really like the Superman franchise and you fancied a bit of this. But stepping away from films, what if you love spreading democracy on Helldivers? How about this? And last but not least, if you're a music fan of Juice World, how about this? Now, of course, that's really cool, and you can pretty much have what Ever you want. Now I'll go through exactly how you can do this yourself and if you want to make things really easy for yourself and you want one of the tunes that I've got I'll put that g-code in the description below because yes it is g-code. Now what's really interesting is how the Bamboo Lab A1 and A1 Mini makes this music because it doesn't have a speaker so you're probably thinking, well, hold on a minute. If it doesn't have a speaker, how is it making the sounds? Well, stepper motors can actually generate sound if they're vibrated at a certain frequency. And we've seen this on the Nintendo Switch with Super Mario Wonder, where if you walk across those tiles, it actually vibrates the controllers to make the sound. And that's really cool. So we know it's going to be using the motors. There's three motors for X, Y, and Z. So we can basically have three tracks. Now we'll go into more detail when we get to that part. But essentially what we're doing is we're converting MIDI files, which are very basic music files and converting it to G code. So let's jump over on the PC and see how we actually convert MIDI files to G code and where you would put that G code in the Bamboo Studio software. So in the description below, you'll see a link for the official Bamboo Lab wiki page, which is a written guide going over everything you need to do. Don't worry if it looks confusing, we're gonna go through everything here. So we're gonna click on this first link and this is the MIDI to G code converter. So I guess the first thing is we find a MIDI file. And I just searched Hell Divers 2 MIDI file and I found this. So, yeah, I didn't want all the song i just wanted that bit at the end so we're going to download the midi file with the link on the right so once it's downloaded we can go to the top left file and then open we can select the midi file we've just downloaded and it's going to import it now luckily this one is a single track but you might have multiple tracks so if we hit play we don't want the first bit, let's skip to the end. Okay, so this is the bit that we want and just this bit. So this is really easy. What we're gonna do is click on the selection tool and then we're gonna select everything that we don't want. So we're gonna push delete, get rid of it. We don't need it. Let's just make sure it's okay and we've got what we need. Okay, that's perfect. That's exactly what we need. So we're going to highlight that. 
and then we're going to bring it to the front of the track because we don't want a big pause before it starts playing the tune. So we're going to bring that all the way to the front, hit play. Okay, so that's perfect. We know we've got what we need. Now, unfortunately, we can't have two notes played at the same time on the same motor. So we're going to have to split this up. So we're going to have to delete some of the notes because we can't, we've only got three motors. So I'm creating three tracks and then I'm going to assign a motor to each track. The motors are classed as chord, bass and main theme. I don't know which one relates to which motor, but three tracks, three motors, and then we need to get rid of some of the notes. Unfortunately, we can't have four notes. So what I'm doing here is I'm deleting a note because I want there to be th only a maximum of three notes, but I'm checking to make sure it still sounds good. And yeah, it still sounds great. So now we know it sounds good, what we're gonna have to do is take the next sequence of notes and copy them and put them on another track. And you can see an outline where it's supposed to be as well. So getting it exactly where you need to be is gonna be easy. So then we're gonna highlight the third sequence and put it on the third track. I'm gonna put that at the start and paste, there we go. So now we know we've got three tracks, three sequence of notes, and then it's not gonna cause any issues. So we'll go back to the first track because that's where we're gonna to need to delete these two tracks. Then we can see if it sounds good. Awesome, it still sounds good, sounds the same. And now what we can do is listen to just one track on its own. And you can clearly hear the difference. So it does sound a lot better with all three tracks. So now we're gonna export it to G-Code. So if we go back to the top left, we can see export as G-Code and then you can give it a name. So we'll just call it Helldivers or HD2. Then click save and that is our G-Code taken care of. If we open it up in Notepad++, we can see the code itself it starts with M17 and ends in M18. Now, what you can do to test this is just put that G code on the root of your SD card for your 3D printer and then go to print and print the G code. What it will do is it will just play that tune. Nice and simple. Now, of course, we want to add it to the beginning and the end of a print. So top left in Bamboo Studio, you'll see this little symbol here. Click on that and you'll get the options. Now make sure show advanced options is turned on because we need to go into machine G code. Now, when we go in here, we have a box at the top, which is the start and a box at the bottom, which is the end G code. So what we're gonna do in the box at the top, we're gonna scroll down till we see start printer sound. It starts with M17 and it will end with M18. So highlight all of this and then you can hit delete. Don't worry, if you need to put it back later, you can just reset the profile. Now go to that code and as you can see, highlight M17 to M18 and then just paste it in there. Now it will look like a load of gobbledygook as you can see here, but if you do close it, and then go to open it again, you will see that it's automatically put in those line breaks for you. So that is the start tone sorted. Next, we can do the tone that it does when it's finished. So you're gonna go to the box at the bottom and we're gonna look for, I think it says end. Let's have a look, Let's scroll down here. Where are we? Yeah, printer finish sound, that's what it's called. This will start with M17, but it will end with a W. So just highlight all that and delete it and then copy and paste what we've got from that G code file. Now close it, open it again. Let's just make sure that it's put all those line breaks in. 
as we scroll down we can see it's done all that for us fantastic so what you can do now is you can save the profile or you can just hit slice and print so if you want to save the profile as you're in the advanced settings as we can see here and we've got those changes made to machine code if you click the save button we can call this and what i normally do is i delete where it says copy and I'm going to put Hell Divers, basically, so I know when I print with this one, it's going to do the Hell Divers tone, which is really cool. And that's pretty much it. You are now done. Now, of course, if you do need any help with this, I really encourage you to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So it's actually relatively easy to get music playing and shout out to the mod smith I'll put a link to his channel in the description below but we were in discord vc and I told him about it and he also has an A1 with AMS so I quickly showed him how to do it and he made that Juice World track within about 15 minutes and it sounds really good so that's about it for this video but if you enjoy my content and you want to help me grow the channel you know what to do by now like subscribe and then hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads because I've got a really cool modification video for the bamboo printers coming really soon and you don't want to miss that it's gonna be awesome anyway I'm JP and as always I'll catch you in the next one.